So here we are in my tackle shop, or the think tank as I like to call it. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So a couple of weeks ago on Facebook, a young girl called Maisie, she put up, um, she fishes with her dad, Tony White, and they love their mullet fishing. And she came up with the idea that when she painted her hooks white with a brush, that the mullet couldn't see the hooks. I mean, I mean, this is, this is, this sounds really, really good. And I'm just about to start painting my hooks. There's my nasty trebles there, look. I haven't turned I haven't turned them into doubles yet so they've just come out of the packet so I'll do that one afterwards but there I've got one there look which is already on a rig it's going to get painted so I've just nipped across the road spent two quid on some of these like brush sets and uh, yeah let's do it man now just before I start I'm just going to add that um, I've done a little bit of research into this and this is model paint so it's non-toxic and it's it's water-based and it's, it's safe for aquatic life, if you like. Now, I did think about using Tipex, and I went on to buy some Tipex, and there's a massive warning that it's actually poisonous to uh, wildlife, bird life, fish life, and it's gonna, it's gonna be dangerous for the fish. So, so I've, I've gone into this, gone down this road, it's the safest option, and it's not gonna hurt the fish, even if you lose the hook or something like that. So, so yeah, model paint there, look. So there you go, there's the first coat done there, look. I haven't done a bad job there really, it's quite fiddly. So yeah, I've just painted these hooks, just a first coat. So I'm just gonna let that dry, look, I've squirted a bit in there in a bottle top. And I've just used that little fine paintbrush, it was, it was quite easy to do. So yeah, I'm gonna give these another, another coat and then tomorrow night I'm gonna get out and give them a try. Beauty. So there we go, there's a second coat done, look. Here's me troops there, look. Dun, 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 dun. And this is uh, thanks to Maisie White, Tony White's daughter, she came up with this idea. And yeah, I can't wait to try it. I'm, sh I'm, I'm, just, I'm just buzzing, I can't wait to get out and try this. I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be good. So, next time you see me, it'll be on the bank, trying these out, tight lines. So here we are, this is, this is really exciting stuff now, man. I've been, just tried these out tonight. I've, you know, I've had a few bites, but uh, the fish have just started feeling heavy. But look, at this has come back in, look. I kid you not, I have not pulled that through there. And I have never, ever wound in and been nubbed so far back the hook like that. I mean, usually you'd be, you wouldn't even see the hook points nowhere near them. You'd just see the, the bridge of the hook. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. I mean, that's, that is awesome, isn't it? So yeah, let's catch one next. Well, here we are fishing fans, as promised on the bank side with a mullet. It's not a massive mullet, but it's, it's a lovely fish. And Brett's just come down with me tonight. And there you go, look, there's the white hook. That's the money shot right there. There's the double right in the, right in the kiss alert. Absolutely nailed that. And I've got to be honest, they are biting a lot more than they would normally with a silver or a gold or black hook or whatever. Now we've painted these hooks, they're actually biting it right down to the nub. And he's perfectly hooked in the side there, look. There he goes out. So there's the hook. Double hook, white, yeah. And there's a the nice little mullet, look. I don't want him to lose any scales, look. Just turn him over so you can have a quick look. He's a bit... Oh. There you go, look, this is, what I don't, this is what I didn't want. Come on, mate. This is when they start losing the scales. Well, look, there you go. You know, nice nice little fish. What, two and a half pound, maybe two and three quarters if we're lucky. But yeah, it just shows that the uh, Maisie's tip of the white hook. I think, I think you might be onto something there, Maisie. Well done, girl. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah <laughs> nice one. That bass man's very pleased. Nice one. Let's get another one. Here we are, number two on the bank. Yeah, she's nice and safe on that pillow, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> so she hasn't lost a scale yet. Come on, mate. So, yes, Maisie. 
white hook. There you are, look. Nicely in the side of the lip. I don't want to get involved with that. But yeah, the white hook's in there. And I think we can safely say that that's... Um, Jobs are good. In. That's a winner, isn't it? Yes. It's not a big fish, you know. What we're saying here, two, two and a half, two twelve again. Similar size to the last one, you know. It was actually a good fight. I thought it was a little stickleback, about a pound. And I was like, hey, and it just didn't want to come in, did it? Decided to wake up, mate, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. There you go, look. So, yeah, nice one. So, well done, Maisie. I think you're on to a winner there, girl. And uh, I'm going to be painting my hooks from now on. The only thing was just the paint started to come off a little bit. So that's my fault because we didn't, like, I didn't rub the hooks down or anything. So perhaps a bit of, a bit of primer first. I don't know. So we'll, yeah, we'll carry on with this method and uh, we'll get this fish back now because she's been out for a couple of minutes. Nice one.